I'm coming to you from not so sunny North Carolina right now. It's uh, raining fairly hard. Winds are about 40 mile an hour. The outer bands of the hurricane are just beginning to reach us. The team is in good spirits. Everybody rested comfortably last night. We're uh, ready to go to work. We're located in a base of operations at Hope Mills Rec Center. This is a very nice facility. Um, who couldn't ask for much better? I've embedded a team member with the Cumberland County EOC, the Oper Emergency Operations Center for Cumberland County, and they will be dispatched by them. I, uh, we've divided the team into two water rescue teams, and we are prepared to be dispatched as we speak. I'll take some questions. Uh, could you describe a little bit more as to, to what kind of um, efforts you're going to be undertaking, do you think, as soon as you get going in North Carolina? What we're expecting is to do either water rescue or water evacuation. The difference between the rescue and evacua evacuation is um, rescue, somebody's in imminent danger, evacuation, the water's just risen, and they need to, people need to get out of there. The plan is they will dispatch local resources first. If the local resources are, are unable to do that, then they're going to send our team. Chief Riley at the Jones Star, how does flooding look down there um, so far, and what's the, when is it uh, maybe expected to pick up? I think the... Um, Heavy rains will probably start here either tonight or tomorrow morning. I do know there is flooding on the East Coast. There's several USAR assets over there. Some of them are pretty busy doing emergency rescues last night. So far, we haven't seen any flooding. It's just raining. Uh, this area, you know, it's a coastal region. It gets quite a bit of rain anyway. Um, they said it wouldn't be uncommon to have several hours of a couple inches of rain an hour, and that doesn't cause any flooding. The problem will be is if we start to get that 15 to 20 inches of rain and it starts to, to stack up. This is kind of a low-lying area, and we're right beside the Cape Fair River. Most of the water from North Carolina drains into the Cape Fair and then runs on down to the ocean. We're high enough here, they don't get storm surge in this area, which is good for us. Uh, Chief, this is Sean Taylor at Kane TV. We've been hearing reports of, yes, wind is concerning, but probably more so the water, the, the rainfall, rather. What sort of challenges do you anticipate with either of the um, rescue op or operations, rather, whether it be rescue or evacuation, um, moving forward? I think my biggest concern is trying to to get to the location. Obviously, we're not familiar with, with the roadways, and we're very concerned if, if we see water across the road. We don't like to drive through through water, if at all possible. So finding a route to these. The uh, local fire chief has graciously offered to provide someone from his department to uh, help guide us to these areas if we're within his fire district. If we go out, of there, we won't have that asset. We do have some contacts in the emergency operations center that can help us. Chief uh, Andrew Ozaki from Channel 7 News. I'm not familiar with the area that you're in. What, what are the main populations that, that you will be working in? Fayetteville is the largest city. I, from what I can tell, Hope Mills is actually um, a smaller suburb of Fayetteville, North Carolina. And All right. Chief, I, oh, go ahead. Oh, excuse do you know when um, uh, Chief Stavernet might be joining you? Have you had any conversations with him as far as his deactivation uh, um, in Hawaii? 
I talked to Chief Davenant last night about 12.30 my time. He said that he had been demobilized and was waiting for a ride home. I don't know if he's coming to North Carolina. He wasn't sure what would happen, but he said he has been demobilized, and I would expect him to be out of Hawaii today, tomorrow, at the latest, if flights are available. All right, um, Chief Bonin, we're going to let you get back to operations. Um, Task Force Leader Chief Bonin, thank you for your time this morning. And um, we will plan on again speaking with you tomorrow morning if that again um, works for your schedule. I will put it on my on my calendar and, and try to make it. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome.